What up, it's your boy T Bear here with the reaction. Bought to react to a new video called Top 10 Cracked Necklace Series of All Time for What's Mojo. So, about to do some trusty with Mo Mo what watch Mojo pick a top 10 Cracked Necklace Series because Cracked Necklace had the dope series of all time through the years. From beginning with from earlier days like uh, two super well, you know, those boys in Cartoon Network still two super dolls, Spockets, to like the, their own cartoon cartoons like Jane Bravo, Dexter Hot Pop Girls, Crush Kai Doll, Ed and Eddie, Hot Chicken, two later stuff like Clarence, uh, Steven Universe, what's the one I like as well too, um, Teen Titan Go, uh, the um, Bear Bears and many other shows too. Oh, and of course, this one I knew was one of our most the regular show. So I thought, do let's see what cut what cartoon Watch Mojo make pick is top ten Cartoon Network series of all time. So let's get it. Cartoon Network has grown a lot since its start in the nineties, wow, and one. these shows are the cream of the crop. Wars. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten Cartoon Network series of all time. I think it's that bugle! My bugle! Yeah. Mm. For this list, yes, we're taking sir. a look at some of the best Cartoon Network shows to come out since it first hit the airwaves in 1992, but we're excluding reboots and Adult Swim series. Okay. Also, be sure to check out our previous lists of the top 10 Cartoon Network cartoons of the 1990s, 2000s, and the 2010s. I once thought I could protect the world by myself, but I was wrong. Number 10, Codename Kids Oh yeah, Codename Kids Next Door. Code name, code name, code name, that's my shit. I'm gonna give it up for this one, yes. In a world ruled by adults, only one organization has the tools and the means. I like how they do it in that little one series right there, because that was like the precursor of Kids Next Door, because the same anim the same animator uh, used, used this. Use this though. That was hot. It's to fight back for the freedom of kids worldwide. The kids next door. With their amazing 2x4 technology, nobody gets the job done better than numbers 1 through 5 of Sector V. It's always the hard way with you goody goody little creeps, isn't it? Number 4? Right! But not everyone can be a kids next door operative. Only those under the age of 13 can join up. But once they do, they have to be prepared to face bizarre adult villains, obnoxious teenagers, greedy candy pirates, or worse, the delightful it children from down, down the lane. I almost missed those pesky kids next door. With a unique view of the world from a kid's point of view, either you're in or you're old. I can't be a kids next door operative anymore. I'm not a kid. Number nine, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Okay. <laughs> Though the Star Wars prequels have had mixed results according to fans, the Clone Wars TV show is a welcome addition to the expanded universe. Taking place between episodes 2 and 3, this okay. Cartoon Network series chronicles the Grand Army of the Republic, including Anakin Skywalker and his new apprentice, Ahsoka, as they take on the droid armies of the Separatists. Fans may debate about whether this show is canon or not, but with what it has to offer, it might as well be. We'll take back our post, shiny or not. There's hope for you yet, rookie. Filled with plenty of action, interesting faces both old and new, and some of the best storylines in the Star Wars Expanded Universe, the Force is strong with this series. It's about to get stronger too, as a seventh season was announced in 2019. Number 8. Courage the Cowardly Dog I the spirit yeah, of the harvest moon. Who else is brave enough to deal with some of the strange creatures and ghastly people in the middle of nowhere? Ironically, it's Courage the Cowardly Dog. Abandoned as a puppy, he was found by the kind and motherly Muriel and her bitter old husband Eustace. When spooky things start happening in nowhere, Courage will naturally scream for his life, but he's not afraid to step up against danger to protect his family, even if Eustace treats him like a stupid dog. Mm -hmm. Stupid dog! The elderly couple is usually oblivious when things get hairy, but Courage knows when something's going wrong. So ends our little story. What took them so long? <laughs> Number seven, Teen Titans. Oh, the first Teen Titans. Teen Titans. Being a teenager isn't easy, so try being a kick-butt teenage superhero while you're at it. 
It's one thing to be dealing with insecurities, putting up with each other, and finding that someone special. But now you have to pile on battling evil criminal masterminds and teenage villains in training. But through it all, the Teen Titans, Robin, Starfire, Cyborg, Beast like Boy, and Raven rise up like to the challenge and fight for the truth, here, justice, the and pizza. Can we please just order something? As long as it's vegetarian. While they go head to head with the show's main villain Slade, among many others, we get to enjoy watching our favorite adolescent heroes grow with every battle life throws at them, for better or for worse. It's just a shame Teen Titans had to go so soon. Mm. These Teen Titans go. were about character development. Drama and heart! I used to be so much cooler! Number 6. Ed, Ed, Ed and Ed. Eddie. <laughs> For most kids, summer is a time for having fun in the sun. For Ed, Double D, and Eddie, summer only means two things, cash and jawbreakers. The Eds are the perfect mismatched trio. Eddie is the greedy leader of the crew, Double D is the neat freak genius who rocks the pedal steel guitar, and Ed is the lovable goofball who loves chickens. Oh please, Eddie, can we get a chicken? Come on, Eddie! Together, these three best friends try to scam their oddball neighbors out of their money to buy jawbreakers but it doesn't always end well for our favorite dorks. When they aren't scamming the other kids, they can also be seen trying to fit in with the popular crowd or running away from the love-struck Kanker sisters. Uh -oh. Hiya, boy! Number five, Steven Universe. Guard it! Don't hurt it! Who doesn't love a good coming-of-age story? Meet Steven Universe, a young half-gem, half-human, training to protect Beach City and the Earth under the guidance of his guardians, the Crystal Gems, Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl. Garnet. Steven's an excitable kid who looks for the best in everyone, including the gems, which is good because he finds out some pretty deep stuff about them. I'm able to see possible outcomes it's to most situations, which comes in handy since you seem to attract a lot of danger. In addition to the usual Cartoon Network brand of comedy, this series also offers its viewers stunning visuals, beautiful music, and some of the most fascinating sci-fi world-building on TV as we dive into the gem's origins. Watching Steven learn and mature as he grows up to become a formidable warrior and caring friend is an incredibly gripping story. We are the Crystal Gems! Number 4. That's Dexter's Laboratory And I'll be stuck forever Oh, oh pizza, um, the whistle, the whistle for her My sister It's hard being a boy genius, Kavanaugh, yep. especially when you're the smartest one in the house Good thing Dexter's got his secret laboratory where he can perform some of the greatest experiments the world has never seen and no one else knows about his secret lab, except his ditzy older sister, Dee Dee. Dexter, Dexter, I told you I'd get help to catch that mouse, and so I did, see? She constantly breaks into Dexter's lab, which means trouble for his experiments. But the only thing worse than his stupid sister is his academic rival, Mandark. Yes, Dexter, I can read your thoughts, and I am smarter than you. Even though Dexter is a scientific mastermind, there's still a lot about life that even he doesn't understand, like arcade games or girls. But that's okay, even the smartest boy ever has a lot to learn. Hmm, I wonder if I could just reconfigure the atomic structure of the foam exterior into a liquid state. What you doing, Dexter? Huh? 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 Number three, Samurai right Jack. Jack. creator of Dexter's Laboratory and the first incarnation of Star Wars The Clone Wars comes the tale of the warrior out of time. After fighting the evil shapeshifter Aku, the nameless samurai is sent to a future where the demon is at his most powerful. But I will destroy you in the future. There is no future for you, Aku. I disagree. Armed only with his magic sword, the samurai, now called Jack, must find a way to travel back to the past and strike Aku down once and for all. This Cartoon Network show is animation gold, with some of the most creative and gorgeous visuals you'll ever see, yep. and an atmosphere that serves as an homage to classic samurai films. Throw in an easy-to-follow story, action to spare, and plenty of humor, and you've got an instant CN classic. Number 2. 
two, Adventure is, Time. Um, you know what time it is? Adventure Time? Would you believe Nickelodeon rejected this show? Well, in this case, oh, wow. is Cartoon I would not Network's be surprised that game. This, was, was this unusual to ratings magnet follows Jake the dog and Finn the human as they protect the land of Ooh from all kinds of absurd characters, including the princess stealing Ice King and the deadly lich. First time viewers may take one look at the colorful visuals and think that this is just another silly cartoon, but it's anything but. There are plenty of silly moments for sure, but it also approaches some dark and disturbing territories, as well as philosophical themes. Along with some brilliant storytelling, it all adds up to one pretty mathematical animated series. Mathematical! Finn, you're terrible at math! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hey, bro. Do the monkey with me. Damn, that's a promissible bag. Oh, this is my jam right oh, here. You wrote what? This. this song sucks. Cool. Bits in. Go roll for that, though. So what are we waiting for? The theme Young song? Justice as on? Damn. What's that? So what's going to be number one? Oh, bitch. Damn, what's going to be number one? It seems to be a swirling vortex of pure evil coming out of your floor. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there, though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number one, Pop the Powerpuff Puff Girls. I should have known. But dang. Everything nice. Add some Chemical X and what do you get? The perfect little superheroines. Mm -hmm. That's what. With their awesome superpowers, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup protect Bubbles, the city Bubbles, of Townsville Bubbles. from evil. Wow. Blossom is the brainy leader who's as cool as her ice breath. Bubbles is the joy and laughter, but she can also be pretty hardcore. I'll show them how prove that I can be hardcore. Buttercup is the brawn, but she doesn't come without her sensitive side. Together, they take down giant monsters and dangerous foes like Mojo Jojo Jojo. and him. So if there's trouble in Townsville, you can be sure that the day will be saved, thanks to the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, snake bees. You didn't destroy them at all, did you? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this Somewhat, other Somewhat, not really. Um... I was say, something when they had an hour mission that was definitely better than dope, but let's just see where everybody else, um thought about these uh thought about the picks. And then the other show I was thinking of that came with um uh, Kid Next Door was the precursor I said it's called Kenny and Chimp though. Like I remember hearing about that I remember watching it though and then I and then it actually became the same animator who made uh Kid Next Door and it was crazy. So let me see in the comments what everybody else has said about this kind of the reason I look at this one, my watch mojo, a lot of time watch mojos get a lot of flack for their um top ten sometimes. So let's see. How the regular not even in the top ten. Yeah, right. How this that's not even top ten. Amazing work on is Oh what? I facts! You only have amazing amazing world gumbo on this list. That's crazy. It probably was but it's probably best that if shot aired on Cartoon Necker instead of Nickelodeon. Uh let's see. Is already wrong. Clearly, this list wasn't made by people who grew up watching these shows. How to pop up good better than Eddie Energy? Facts and Samurai Jacks. Facts. Most well, people say Giant Bob was not on the list. That sucks. That's facts right there. Up to this day, I'm still all about the. the okay, that's different. All right, so yeah, a lot of people are not like. uh yeah, a lot of people are not feeling that list. I figure that because some of the stuff that's put on the mission is something that was Eve mission though too. So yeah, what y'all thought about this top ten? If you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T. signing off. One love.